What's going on, Crunch Nation? It's KJ here coming back at you guys with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Uh, today, we're going to be going over a coin making method that's working right now. You need to jump on as fast as you can. It's helped people make millions of coins on a bunch of other cards, so I'm just going to show you really quick. Um, please ignore the little fabric in the background. I'm still working on the green screen. We got a new uh, green screen in, so we're trying that out. Um, still getting some tweaks and it's not too bad once you get into actual screens but for some reason on the white screen it just looks pixely um, but basically what we're gonna be doing today is building the set and right now I'm gonna show you what he's going for uh, so we're gonna be doing Barry Sanders and you need to jump on as fast as you possibly can uh, because these go quick they do not uh, last for a long long time uh, but as you can see right here, we can get Barry for anywhere between 19 and 21K. If we go with the high and go 21K, you need 32 of them. That is going to give you 672K, right, for the set. So I'll show you the set just so you can see that you need 32 of them. So we're going to go into the last set of the 50. And like you can see, 32 for any of them. But Barry's power-up had just come out. The only way you can get it is through that set. So his power-up is super high. Uh, before this video I looked he was going for roughly for the card and the power up about 750k um, so if you do sell him for that you are gonna make profit like I said it takes 672k to make it if you don't have any of the cards if you use the method that I showed you uh, the other day you can double up on this uh, you can use the uh, gap pack method or the uh, get a player pack method to build these guys as cheap as possible but like I said you can get them for about 21k but when you get down into it and you look at his actual card you can see he's going for 350 and then 405 for his power up um, so there's a lot of coin to be made right there um, all you're gonna do is jump in on this like I did put Sanders up there go ahead and hit running back and you can flip back and forth to try to get uh, as many as you can because it's 86 overalls so you don't technically have to go with Barry Sanders uh, to get them. But like I said, you look for the ones that are 21 and below. Um, so you can sit here for a little bit. They'll pop up uh, periodically. But really, you just want to pack 32 of these bad boys. Whether you do it through the gap pack method or you do like this, where you're just going to sit on the auction house and kind of, you know, play around. But you don't have to go with Sanders. Um, you can switch up and go with Lawrence Taylor. Um, and then you can also go with um, Mayway, Mayway, however you want to say his name. Where are the Giants at? I'm just skipping right by him for some reason. I know they're right here. There they are. Um, but see, his are about 20K, as you can see right there. Um, about 20K. So you can go back and forth between them. Uh, like I said, you can go with... Um, Malway, Mayway, however you want to say his name, to the center for the Jets. When it decides it wants to load sometime this week. So you look, his are at 20K too. Um, so you just want to, you know, pack as many of these as possible. Like I said, build up 32 of them bad boys. Go ahead and sell them off. Um, so if we do the math on that, if he was 754, 754,000, we times that by 0.1, we're going to take off 75K for tax. You're going to profit roughly at about maybe 8K per, and that's only for if you get them at 21,000. If you can get them lower... If you can pack some of them the free way, like I showed you with the gap pack method and just build up the cards and everything, then it's not going to be as bad either. Um, you can really shave off some costs and everything like that. Um, so it's definitely something to look into. Or if you can get the cards, snipe the cards uh, for cheaper, there is a um, exchange set as well. I don't feel like you'll be able to get under 20 k uh, doing it this way. Uh, because you need was that five elites and 12 golds now i have a ton so i could do it um but realistically i'd probably profit more just selling the cards off 
than doing it this way because I have tons of gold so I could do it if I wanted to and I have plenty of elites that I could use for that but this way is gonna cost a little bit more so you really don't want to go that route if you don't have to uh, but your best bet is gonna be to go through and do the uh, you know the gap pack method and get some of these maybe in the 84 range 83 range get a bunch of them and then you can exchange them two for one in these right here so these exchanges you can two for one them so basically build up the smaller ones into the bigger ones uh, to shave off some costs so you can make more but if you just straight bought all of them you're gonna make about eight to nine K per every time that you do it it's not a huge margin but right now it's guaranteed profit because uh, like I showed you you can literally just load this up and every time you do it they're gonna be in that range below 20k like I've sniped plenty of them below 20k all you have to do is take a second and look it really doesn't take long these are it that one's at 20k then you can switch back over to Sanders and just go back and forth uh, but the more you shave off per um, you know per card the more your profits gonna be I'm just showing you guys profit just if you had to just buy them all because if you have to just buy them all you're gonna make profit either way but you can make more if you use the other avenues that we show you like 19k you really just gotta sit and wait and be patient see 18k right here somebody already got it my Xbox is being slow right now but you know 19k 18k you can just sit here all day and do it uh, but that's really gonna be where it's at if your Xbox is going faster or if you use the app but I got one right there for 18k like I said you can sit here and it'll you can easily just pick these off all day all day long because people are just gonna keep putting them up and keep putting them up and so I shaved 2k off there that'll make my profit margin 10k on the this one that I sell and every time you do that through 32 let's say you shave off 2k you pick up these 18k ones every time right 18k ones every time I've just done two so let's say we shave off 2k times all 32 cards that's 64,000 coins that we just shaved off for profit so you put that on top of the 8k you were already gonna get and we're sitting at 72,000 coin profit for one sell so you just gotta sit here you gotta be a little patient you gotta just gotta play with the market like I said you can switch between the three the one week before it I believe two are also 86s if I'm not mistaken uh, so you can try to snipe those as well so let me look just to be positive on that because I don't want to give you guys the wrong information I really gotta fix this green screen I'm trying really hard to get it to work but it just doesn't want to work with me right now uh, but let's take a look at the 50 week 14 I believe yep 86 is so you can do Dion Moss and Vic too um, so you can go look at their cards as well and possibly you know snipe some of theirs let's go see we'll just check out Sanders and Vic and stuff and see what it looks like because I've already got Sanders name in there so it should be easy to find him so we'll go ahead and put it real quick now he has a ton of cards so it's gonna make it more that you gotta sort through um, and a little bit more frustrating but what you can do is you can go to program and then go to the 50 and it'll make it a little bit easier to sort so those are a little bit more expensive those are 23 let's check out Vic and see what he's looking like Um, I know a lot of people are making coins off of Moss too. Um, so if he's still profit because of his power of not being in uh, packs and stuff, that's something to look at as well. So we're gonna just go program and go to the 50. I wanna see what his look like. His are about 23. So it looks like the ones from last week are not that profitable on this one. So you're gonna stick to the three that I showed you for today. Uh, but go ahead and jump on that try to invest in as many as you can for as cheap as you can like I showed you if you shave if you're patient you shave 2k off of every single one that's 64,000 coins that you can make just by you know buying
buying the cards, making the set, and reselling them. Uh, but just watch the market because it will go up and down. You never really know. Um, this could tomorrow not work. So you want to jump on these as fast as you possibly can. But other than that, boys, like, comment, subscribe as always, and we're out. Yeah.